another tripod and this time it's a tripod that comes as a combo with a 10 inch ring light. This is a combination from Sensign that gives you a 50 inch expandable tripod with a 10 inch ring light for the top and then a space to mount your phone right there. The combination also comes with the phone clip adjustable up to 4.5 inches. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and take a look at how to set it up and use it. As we prepare to unbox the Sensine ring and tripod combo, you'll notice that the box itself doesn't have really any markings that the, uh, the equipment ships in. So you don't really get a telltale what's included, uh, features or any of that kind of stuff put on the outside of the box. The tripod itself comes inside of the tripod carrier. It is a fabric material here with a drawstring top. In our components box, we have an adjustable phone holder that goes on the top of the tripod. Uh, you'll notice that this gives you kind of a unique approach. First, it is adjustable from 2.3 to 4.5 inches. Second, we can adjust the angle at which we are holding the phone uh, as we connect this holder to the top of the tripod. So we can kind of put it in a landscape or a portrait mode, uh, whatever suits the particular thing that we're gonna be shooting here. So that kind of versatility is welcome. Simply screw it back to lock it in place and unscrew here to get a wider grip. That lets us lock this down rather than relying on a attention-based mechanism. We've got a screw-based mechanism to keep the phone snug in place. Right on the inside of each side, we've got rubber grips to keep the phone from sliding around or getting damaged by the plastic on the side of the, uh, of the, the, the frame itself. This package comes with a Bluetooth remote shutter, allowing you to connect to an Android or iOS phone. Uh, there are only certain versions that are gonna be supported. Uh, this documentation calls out that if you do not have the supported version, you can load a separate app for free onto the phone called Camera 360. Uh, in addition, when you're pairing the device via Bluetooth, you will look for a device called UB Size in your available devices list. Again, you will press either the iOS or Android button, depending on your phone, to take a picture. And as long as the phone is compatible, you'll be able to use your native phone application, your native camera application. Otherwise, you'll use a free app, the Camera 360 app. The last item inside of the components box is the power supply, of course. And it is a power supply. There you go. Finally, the last item that comes in the box itself is the 10 inch selfie ring light. As you will see, it comes in a very thick and very protective bubble packaging here, uh, ensuring that the light doesn't get damaged in transit. Again, this is a 10 inch ring light with adapter, allowing you to have light connected directly to your tripod, uh, giving you optimal lighting in areas where you may otherwise not have good lighting conditions such as the room that I'm currently recording in. So this will be kind of cool to get plugged in and take a look at in just a second here. Removing the ring light from its protective bubble wrap here is really quite simple. There's a little bit of tape holding these pieces together. The top folds open and then carefully remove the ring light from its casing, being careful not to drop it in the process and negate the whole purpose of packing this in bubble wrap. And that's our first look at the device itself. Here is where it can be mounted directly to the tripod. We've got a few controls right up front. And then of course, right on top, we have the additional capability to uh, mount our, uh, our phone, uh, the, the phone grip that we went over a minute ago right here. So tripod down here, phone up top, ring positioned uh, in a desirable way all around the center of where we're filming from. Again, our tripod comes in a uh, fabric case that you can use for carrying. 
it has this drawstring top to close it off and carry. Go ahead and open that up and we will pull out the tripod. We can see that it ships in a protective plastic case here. Let's go ahead and remove the plastic. Before we put things together, let's take a closer look at the tripod itself, its features and other specs. The tripod extends up to 50 inches in height. It has aluminum alloy legs for our frame. At the very bottom of the device, we've got rubber grips that allow us to keep firmly in place when on a surface that may be not quite as uh, stable or a little bit more of a, a, a slick surface. Rubber grips will help us from sliding around too much. We've got all these clips that allow us to adjust to various heights. So if we want to have this thing standing up halfway, we might only let one clip down rather than all of them. If we want to extend the device to its full height, then we will go ahead and do all the clips. When the device is being stored, it obviously comes in the collapsed position. We can go ahead and fold it out like so, and then set it down for, uh, for, for setting up our device up top, and then lastly, extending the legs out as we need to. Let's go into the top and take a look at all of our various locking knobs. One of the more obvious features that stands out right away is our handle for panning and tilting the camera around as we need to. Right above that, we've got the vertical tilt locking knob. So it is in the locked position now. If we turn the knob, then we're able to actually tilt the camera up or whatever we've got attached here for a different angle of filming. While in this position, I will point out our little leveling bubble up top. This tells us if we are sitting nice and level in whatever position we're needing to be in, in case we're on a less than level surface. Right here, we have the center column locking knob. When this is unlocked, we can get a little bit more height on our device by loosening that up and raising the bar straight up where we need to. Of course, you'll turn the knob back to lock it in place. Otherwise, we can then loosen that back up and bring it back all the way down to the fully collapsed level. To the side, we have our pan locking knob. When engaged, we are not able to easily pan the camera around. If we loosen this up, we are able to then move the device from left to right with a lot more ease, allowing for a fluid motion when needing to film things that are in motion from the stationary position of the tripod. Looking back to the very top of the device, we have our one quarter inch standard screw interface. Again, for our setup with the 10 inch ring light that came with this setup, we will be attaching the ring light right here and then attaching the phone clip that came with the setup above the ring light. Taking a look underneath of the mount right here, we've got the device locking knob. This allows us to connect to the device and lock it into place a little more securely so that we don't have any wobbling from the phone clip as it's attached to the very top or for the ring light that will be attached at the top as well. As this was a combination unit that shipped with the ring light and the tripod and the phone clip, we want to take a look at how to piece it all together. We first start by putting the one quarter inch standard screw that's on the mounting platform match it up to the one quarter inch slot that is at the bottom of our ring light. Put it right on there. And as we turn the device knob on the bottom, it locks it into place nice and secure so that we don't have any wobbling around. Don't want to over tighten things as we do have plastic components and we might end up cracking part of the frame. Not a good situation. Things will not be stable if we do that. So get it snug so we're not having this thing wobble too much up top, but don't over tighten. Here we've got the ring light attached, 10 inch ring light attached to the top, the mounting portion of the tripod. Now, as we see right in the center there, we've got another quarter inch screw coming out of the ring light itself. This will let us put the phone clip right in the middle of our light to give the best lighting situation. Again, our phone clip can be positioned in a couple different positions. We can unscrew this back piece, put it up vertical this way, and we can put it back to horizontal this way. 
uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave it here as we'll probably just have a phone sitting right here standing uh, the tall way rather than the horizontal way. Let's go ahead and put this right here and screw it in. Once you're finished getting the uh, foam clip screwed in up top, if you find that it's not quite getting to the right angle as you spin it round and round, this little spot right underneath here actually spins as well to help you get the that quarter inch standard screw um, up to the right position for the phone clip so that we're not off to the side or in some skewed angle. Now we can have our phone sitting up here, camera facing this way, and then the light turned on to give light to the area that we'll be filming. As you can see in this view here, we've actually got a phone up here. This is a Samsung S10 and it even has a case on it. The adjustable phone clip here gives us plenty of room to play with the width. One additional thing I want to point out when we're going over all of our handles and locking mechanisms, once you get this whole setup up here, especially with the phone, it can become a little bit heavy and tend to tilt in one direction or the other. We want more stability there. In order to lock your tilt position, we discovered this is for the pan lock, but to lock the tilt position, you actually turn the handle over to the left to loosen it and right to tighten it. Okay, so for managing the light, a couple very quick things to call out. Obviously, we can turn the light on or off with the on off button. We've got plus or minus to increase or decrease the level of brightness. And if we wanna change the color, because again, this is a two-tone ring light, this button right here will change the color on us. Bringing this around to the side, this is where we plug the power in. And you will need to have a power source to be able to use this. It is not a uh, battery powered ring light. So make sure that when you're planning out your filming locations, you've always got uh, a power source or an extension cord uh, bringing that capability to you wherever you're gonna be recording at. With our power source plugged in, you can see that we've got a little blue light right next to the on off button indicating we do have power. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. There we go, that is pretty bright. Uh, we can again decrease our brightness, increase the brightness, and change our tone. Various tones. So we'll go ahead and get this thing flipped around and record me in front of it so that we get a little bit of a view for the difference in brightness that the light makes and the different tones that come through as well. So right now I'm standing in front of the tripod, fully extended to the 50 inch height. For a frame of reference, I'm 67 inches. I'll let you do the math to determine how short I am. That's not the topic of this video. I am 67 inches. This is a 50 inch height. And you can see where I'm at now. The ring light is not turned on. We have good stability from the tripod itself. Uh, I think like this is a pretty good height, getting a good picture here. Let's go ahead and turn the tripod on, or turn the light on, and then try a couple of the different tones so that you can see what the different options are and what it looks like to record someone with that light on them. All right, obviously we have the ring light on now and you can see it's quite a difference from when I was being filmed with no light at all. A lot more detail coming through really helps in a dark room like this where there's one window off to the side and poor overhead lighting. This gives us a lot more opportunity to capture details in a room where we otherwise wouldn't be able to. There are three different modes that you can put the light ring into. Uh, we first have the warm yellow, there is a cool white, and a daylight. Right now, we're on the warm yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to our next color, and I have to be honest, kind of taking a stab in the dark as to which one is which between daylight and cool white, but I'll let you be the judge of the variations. This is variation number two. We were just on warm yellow. Whether this is cool white or daylight, you be the judge. Let's go to the next one. And if I had to guess, this would be cool white. But again, there's a few variations there. So as you begin to tinker with it, find the setting that works right for you in the right environment. The whole idea here is that this ring light gives you options for different uses like uh, doing makeup, gaming, uh, whether you're just shooting a product video like we're doing right now. There is a variation of colors. You choose what works best for your scenario.
And just to have one more frame of reference after we showed you what it's like to film with all the lighting, we're back to no lighting. As you can see, it's a lot more dim, probably have a lot more shadow happening here. Not the best way to film. And there you have it. That is the 50 inch tripod with 10 inch ring light from Sensine. I realized that this last clip here, I wanted to show off the light as we wind down the video. You're really not supposed to have the light facing on you from behind, but you get what I'm doing here. I hope this was helpful. My personal opinions here, great product for the money. It seems very stable. Uh, the pieces all seem firm. Nothing seemed to be catching or getting stuck. The knobs all seem to have the right amount of uh, torque needed and nothing appears like it's about to be imminently breaking or having any issues. Great way to get into advanced photography, filming, whatever you're getting into, and, and a great way to start playing with light and different angles. Hope this was helpful. If so, please follow me on YouTube. Please feel free to share the video if you have others that you know would be looking for a device like this. If you didn't like the video, please do none of the above, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.